Good afternoon, Maple students. I know it's another rainy day out there. Maybe you're not watching this on a rainy day, but we sure have a lot of them these days. So it's getting harder and harder to have ways of getting outside and feeling like you have PE or recess activities to do. So I wanna share with you this book called Move that my friend wrote. And my friend is Lolly Hopwood, and then she wrote it with Yo-Yo Custers, and then Luke Flowers did the pictures. And it was published by Workman Publishing. So I wanna thank them for letting me share this book. Okay, so the way this book moves, or works, is that it is designed with handles, so you can do all the different movements with the book in your hand, or you can use it as a little peephole, and it goes along with the story. But if you don't have this book, you can also just use a paper plate or a plastic plate or just your imagination and you can still do all the moves. Okay, you ready to go? Get up and move, there's an adventure ahead. You've opened a book unlike any you've read. Are you ready? Hang on to the handles and let's get going. Bring each hand to your hip and now you're rowing. Okay, grab your paper plate or your imagination, hold on to your handles, bring it down to your hip and start rowing. Okay, we're rowing our boat. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. If you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream. Ah! Did you scream with me? Let's do it again. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Throw your teacher overboard and listen to her. Wait, what am I? That's the words of the song? I'm not doing that one again. Let's turn the page. Put this book to your mouth and let out a roar. Now stomp around like a big dinosaur. See the dinosaur teeth? Roar! Okay, let out your roar. Roar! Now get up and let's stomp around like dinosaurs. Roar! Roar! Are you a mean, evil, well, not evil, meat-eating dinosaur? Blah! Or are you a plant-eating dinosaur and you're stretching up to get those leaves or bending down to get that grass? You pick your dinosaur. Right here, my little T-Rex arms, right? Or maybe I've got big, long legs that run. Okay, go around, make your dinosaur roar! Eat your leaves, eat your grass, eat your leaves, eat your grass. Did you do it with me? That was a good stretch. Place this book down. Get a little closer for you. Place this book down, leap over the creek. But watch where you're jumping. There might be snakes. Eek! Okay, so I'm gonna place my plate on the floor. Okay, so you know where to jump. And then you're gonna jump over the plate. Jump over the creek. <gasps> There's snakes over here. Eek! Jump back over. <sighs> There's snakes over here. Jump back over. Again, there's more snakes. Who knew creeks had so many snakes? Jump back over. Let's do it two more times. Ready? Jump back over. Can you do it again? Jump back over. Oh wait, I want I want you to try something. See if you can do it. Challenge time. Jump backwards. Over the creek. Did you do it? Whew. Got away from those snakes. Whew. Okay, let's see what we're up to next. Okay. Spin like a saucer, flying around from planet to planet in an obstacle race. Oh, I missed the line. I'll try it again. I, I could tell I missed the line because it didn't rhyme. Did you notice that? Let's listen for the rhyme. Spin like a saucer, flying through space, from planet to planet in an obstacle race. Do you see the little alien? I know the glare is pretty bad. Can you see the little alien legs sticking up and all the little buttons on the spaceship and all the different planets? Okay, this is my flying saucer and we're gonna spin around in space. Ooh, what does your spaceship sound like? Ooh, or maybe you hold it over your head. All around the room. Spin, 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 spin. Ooh. Are you doing it? Ooh. And when you're done spinning, this is how my spaceship lands. Beep, 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 beep. How did your spaceship 
flip. Oh, that's a good one. I like all the noises you're making. Okay. Now lie down on your paddle. Can you see the surfboard? Now lie down on top and paddle the floor. Jump on board and you're surfing to shore. Okay, so you're gonna lay on your belly and then you're gonna paddle the floor. Okay, lay down on your belly and paddle the floor. Paddle, paddle, paddle. Paddle, paddle, paddle. You're swimming far out into the ocean. Paddle, paddle. Are you laying on your belly to do it? I'm just standing up so you can see me, but I want you to lay on your belly and paddle your arms. Paddle, paddle, paddle. Okay, and then you're gonna jump up into a surfing position. Try it again. Get down on your belly and jump up into a surfing position. One more time. Down on your belly, paddle, paddle, paddle. Jump up and you're surfing to shore. Ride the waves. Ride the waves all the way to shore. Nice job. Hang ten. Nice job, surfers. Okay. Oh, now it looks like we're in Antarctica. Place your toes here. Can you see the little penguin footprints? Place your toes here while the book's on the ground. Pretend you're a penguin waddling around. Okay, do you know how to waddle like a penguin? So I've got my feet really close together and I've got my penguin wings down on my arms and I'm gonna waddle around. We're in Antarctica, it's very cold. Water around, waddle around, waddle around. Go the other way, waddle, 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 waddle. Did you do it? Waddle sideways, waddle sideways, waddle backwards. Waddle forwards. Whoa, I'm cold. We're still in the snow. Can you see the sled? It's the top of a sled. Oh, and there's a little snowman's face. Can you see him? His little carrot nose. Keep the book on the floor. We can play in the snow. Push off on your sled. Down the mountain we go. I'm gonna get you down here so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so you lay down on the ground and you're gonna push off on your sled. Push, push, right? Maybe a few pushes, push, push. And then you feel that snow in your face. Oh, so much snow, ice in my eyes. Keep going, we're sledding down the hill. Sled down the hill. Okay, then we run back up the hill. Run back up the hill, run, 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 run. run. It's a really high hill. Run, 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 run. Get back on your sled. And push. And push. And then slide down the sled. Oh, that snow on my face, but it's worth it. So much fun. Push. Push. Okay, you're at the bottom of the hill. Nice work. I'm gonna bring you back up here. I'm so proud of you sticking with us and doing it with me. Let's see what's next. Can you see? There's a steering wheel now, and it looks like we've moved to the woods. I see a bear and some tall mountains and a moose. Drive a bumpy road. Hold on tight. Go up, go down, turn left, turn right. Okay, so if you've got your plate, hold on to your plate like a steering wheel. Otherwise, use your wonderful imagination. And we're going to go up and down this bumpy road. Right, so they said go up. They said go down. They said go left. They said go right. Do it with me. Go up, go down, go left, go right. It's a really bumpy road. It's super windy and weaving. Up, and how low can you go? Down, and to the left, and to the right. Go up, go down, go left, go right. You got it? Go up, go down, go left, go right. Okay, get to the end of your bumpy road. Bumpy road. Whew! It's a bumpy road. Give me a tummy ache. Don't do this after lunch. Okay. Hang on to the handles. 
step over the book. Can you see this whole page? Looks like a turtle shell. Hang on to the handles, step over the book. You're a turtle in its shell. Go peek out and look. This one's a little tricky, so again, I'm gonna bring you down so you can see me, okay? We're gonna curl up like a turtle, right? And you're in your shell. Get in your shell. And you're gonna hide your head, okay? Hide your head. Curl up. If you start to fall over, put your hands down. Curl up. And if it helps, you can curl up like this, okay? Either one, down like this, or up on your feet if you can balance like that. Okay, and then you're gonna peek out of your shell. Look all the way up at the sky. Look back down. Oh, I'm too scared. Look all the way to the left. Oh, I'm too scared, right? Turtles like to hide in their shell and keep, keep safe. Look back in your shell. Look all the way up to the right. And then look back in your shell. Look all the way up to the sky and look back in your shell. Try one more time, up to the left and back in your shell. Look up to the right and back in your shell. Okay, turtles, are you ready for the next move? I'll move you back up. You're really sticking with it. Okay. Can you see the horsey? Right? It's a horse with a saddle on it. If this book were a horse, how would you ride it? You're, you could make it a saddle, make it a saddle and gallop astride it. Okay? So I'm gonna hold onto my plate like I'm holding onto a saddle and I'm gonna gallop, go. Ride your horse. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. You can hop. Go back around this way. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. Giddy up. What's your horse day? Nay, nay, nay. Giddy up, giddy up. Now name your horse. What are you gonna name your horse? Giddy up, giddy up. Did you name it? I'm gonna name my horse Maple Syrup. Right? For maple school. Let's go. Giddy up. Giddy up. Giddy up. Giddy up. Giddy up. Is your horse fast or is your horse slow? Maybe your, your horse has a little trot. Trot, 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 trot. Or it goes really fast. Giddy up. Giddy up. Right? It jumps over things. Giddy up. All right. Do your last jump. And then bring your horse back to the stable. Okay. Can you see the butterfly? I love this page. Because the butterfly has a little old pilot's helmet on with goggles. It's so happy and cute. Okay, can you flutter this book like, a butterf like butterfly wings and fly around looking for colorful things? See the book flutters? But instead of fluttering the book, I'm gonna have you flutter your arms. Okay, make your arms butterfly arms. And we're gonna fly around looking for colorful things, right? We're gonna smell all those flowers. What flowers, what colors do butterflies look for, do you know? They love red, that's right. And they love purple. They would land right on my shirt and think, ooh, that's a great color. They like yellow, they like orange, but I think red and purple tend to be their favorites. Did you know that they can fly miles and miles and miles? And they do that every summer, go on long journeys. Okay, butterflies, let's finish our long journey and come back down, flutter. Land on your pretty flower. What color did you pick? Is it purple? Is it red? Did you pick yellow? Did you pick orange? Did you say, Miss Melanson, I'm just gonna land on a green leaf? Yeah, it's up to you, butterflies. Okay. Oh, look at the pirate. And he's looking through his telescope. Let's see. And here's the best part. There's no real end. Can you see this? Look through the middle and find a friend. Now create moves together. There are so many more. What else can this book do? Go on and explore. So the book is asking you to create your own moves 
or go back and do some of your favorite ones. Maybe you really liked the surfing paddle and jump. Maybe you really liked galloping around the room. Maybe you like stomping like a dinosaur. It's up to you. Go out there, explore, make up some of your own, okay? And take care. Get as much exercise as you can, guys. I miss you.